Alright guys, I'm going to use this number here. It says 172, but the number has been jumping around almost about 4 to 5 pounds depending on where I place my scale, so I'll just use this one. Alright guys, I'm really happy right now. I'm actually having a really good morning. So I cleaned up my entire room, I packed all my stuff up, and I was just uh, watching like uh, some Brandon Carter videos. Brandon Carter is one of my biggest motivators in, uh, in life and just business and all that. So I was watching his uh, interview with uh, Robert Greene. That's super dope. Good ass content. I'm really happy that he put it out. And like that's awesome that it was just like free. So anyway, that's that. I'm about to head downstairs and uh, uh, pack myself a protein shake with me in my bag. And yeah, that's that. I will. Oh, it's right here. So yeah. And I'll catch you guys down there. Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hello. Here we are. Another open air market. So uh, we're here in Provence, and uh, this is more of an open air market with uh, like more books, more antiques, not so much fruit, and all that. Fruit is usually on Sundays. But today is Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. So this is just usually like uh, thrift shops and stuff like that that we can find here. Olga's looking through paintings. I'm looking through books, as you can tell. But they're in French. Can read all of it. All right. So let's just go through and see what let's see what they got, man. Dude, look at these guys fucking talking shit over there. They're just eating pizza, eating chips and shit, and drinking sodas and shit, and they're having me over here. Cause I ain't sitting with them, man. Fuck that. That's temptation right there. Look at that. Look at that girl. Look, look, look. Goddamn. These two clowns. I think they got it made. Anyway. Uh, the real though. I just finished my 75 grams of almonds. And I finished my water bottle. And I think that's it, man. I'm gonna be going back to Lyon in about an hour. And then a three hour bus or train ride. And then I gotta grab me some meat. I also have to grab me some red meat. So I'm switching up from chicken today. Uh, the coach wants me to have some red meat, so that's that. Oh man, we're in a park. Got a view of the city. Bam, and an amphitheater, and a tree. Perfectly placed so Joke can get some shade. Isn't that not amazing? That's awesome. Uh, what to say, what to say? We're going on the, the train, that's about it. I don't really know. Taryn wanted to vlog, so I was like, all right, go for it, Taryn. So, what do you want to talk about? Let's, let's hit them up. Okay, just take a close-ass video of Joe. I'm about to say goodbye to these kids. These kids are going to Spain. Uh, that girl's uh, couch surfing. Uh, I'm, I'm not now, it. unfortunately. It canceled on me, so now I really am staying in a hostel. All right, anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, not with Joe. That's all that matters. They're like, hey, all right. we're gonna talk right? That's it. Brennan's coming. Hi again. All right, guys, check me out. Uh, so I'm at the train station right now, and I grabbed me some apples at one of the shops here. So I grabbed me 160 grams of apples. I don't know if you can hear me. It's loud as hell in here. So that's that. I'm about to eat that, and then I'm about to get on the train. All right. Okay. She's kind okay. of freaking out, but on the flip, okay. we, we got on the wrong train. What the fuck? And uh, me and her are the only ones on this train that speak English and that we know. So that's good. <laughs> Um, guys, the worst part about this is I don't think I'm gonna be able to work out tonight, so expect no workout videos. Oh She's red as a tomato. Yes. Joe's kind of upset because I was hoping to snap. But we're going to uh, the north of France, which is the right direction at least. Um, 
But hey man, this is one for the history books. Alright, so luckily our train is, the one that we got on is still going to Lyon, but it's like 20 minutes earlier than the other one, and we don't have tickets for this train, but somehow it'll work out, worst case scenario, we might still be able to get a workout in, and Emma <laughs> doesn't seem so excited about that, but that's oh what matters. God. Holy moly man, that was ridiculous. Okay, it's about 6 p.m. I've been up since 6 a.m. Uh, my gym closes at 8, so I'm gonna head there right now. I just gotta go use the restroom and then go. I am sweaty like a dog. It smells bad. I feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. I'll take a pre-workout or something if I have it, and then I'm gonna just go. Uh, and then tomorrow morning I have to be up by 4 a.m. or something like that. It's a long day, man. Getting on the wrong train definitely did not help, but it is life, and we will survive, so not a big deal. And I will catch you guys at the gym. Let's do it. All right, the pre-workout has kicked in. I'm about to fucking murder this workout. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's go. All right, man. Let me take you through this workout. So we're doing biceps here alongside with forearms. So we're starting off with standing bicep straight bar curls. And I really got a good pump going. After I took my pre-workout, which was just the amino energies, I was ridiculously ready. So I supersetted this along with the preacher bar curls as you can see right here for four sets of 15 on the preacher bar curls and then four sets of 10 to 12 on the standing bicep curl and uh, this was actually a really good set because I was able to hit this weight which I haven't been able to hit in two weeks so I got strong on my first set which is really nice moving into my third workout of the of the actual workout itself I'm doing incline dumbbell curls uh, on a flat or on an incline bench along with a super set of forearm curls. So I'm doing four sets of 15 of the incline dumbbell curls as well as the four sets of 15 on each arm of the forearm curls. And if you guys can notice, I'm actually getting a vein in both arms here, uh, which is something new to my physique, which is really, really cool. I've never had a vein in both arms. I've had a vein in one arm which I think is my left arm. So that's cool that my right arm vein is coming in. And then I finished it off with the double bicep cable curls standing. And then uh, that was the end of my bicep and forearm workout and I busted it out in almost like 40 minutes. So I was pretty quick. And I was actually so quick that I was able to add some abs. So I did some wood choppers. These are to target the obliques on both sides. So I did four, or no, three sets of 15 on both sides really just trying to make sure I didn't use too much weight I just want to make sure I'm doing the movement right and uh, these do take quite a bit of time but they're definitely worth it in my opinion these are one of my favorite oblique workouts and I learned this from uh, Chris Jones maybe like a year and a half ago and uh, definitely definitely try it out if you guys haven't tried it already and then uh, the next workout I did do I want to explain it really quickly because it'll be shown very shortly on screen because it's a short workout within itself it's the Athlean X um, leg raises that I've recently learned. If you saw my previous video, you'll know that I'm doing leg raises now, but raising my legs to the point where you can see my butt. And the whole point of that is to target the entire abdominal wall while using like uh, muscle groups that work together. And it, I really feel a great contraction while using it. And then finishing it off with Arnold twists. I know there's a different name for them. I'm sure it's just oblique twists with a bar. But I learned this in Arnold's Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding a long while ago, so definitely a fun oblique workout to try out. All right, guys, check me out. I have just I'm finishing up 30 minutes of cardio right here, and then afterwards, I'm heading to the shop to go grab me some ground beef. Sounds good. All right, guys, let me show you what I'm working with tonight. So I just went shopping, and um, okay, first and foremost, got me a little bit more chicken. Uh, this might, this is gonna sound kind of odd. So I got some ch uh, some beef, right? Uh, this is 5% uh, beef patties, and I got four of them, so I have four total. And this is gonna be actually one of the first times I've ever cooked beef. Uh, I've cooked it maybe once or twice before, but I don't really eat beef a lot, so, uh, but the coach wanted me to eat beef, so, or like any type of red meat. So I'm gonna trust him on it, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna do that. Also got me some broccoli, I wanted to switch it up. Uh, from the green beans, but I'll probably have green beans too. And then I also got me the 90% reduced calorie uh, fake noodles, essentially. So that's what I'm gonna be eating 
I'll be cooking this and then tomorrow morning I leave 5 a.m. in the morning to London and then after that I'll be there for an entire week training with my cousins it's gonna be really exciting uh, just be around family you know have a good vibe and then we're gonna be working out and then this next week you're probably gonna see my physique a lot so I know I haven't been showing my physique on camera but I'm very excited to show it with you guys I'm very excited to share it so that's awesome and I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done I'm about to have me a protein shake nothing new optimum nutrition two scoops and so yeah um, awesome Alright guys, let me show you what it looks like. So, um, this is the first two patties, and I think I cooked the shit out of them, but I just don't want to eat them any raw. So this is what the inside's looking like. It looks like it's completely cooked, because there's no, uh, there's no pink. And then I also got my broccoli, and then my fake noodles here. I'm going to strain these out, and then I'm going to start cooking the second patties. Alright guys, let me show you what I'm eating, and then I will call it here for the night. I'm also watching some, uh, Christian Guzman. I'm watching his newest video. It looks like something happened to his mom, so I hope that's all good. But on to what I'm eating. So right here I got, uh, I think it's like 200 grams of broccoli, my fake noodles, and then 320 grams of the beef. And then I also got me some protein powder. And that's it. And I also am going to flavor it with some BBQ sauce. And that's it. And I'll catch you guys in the morning at 5 a.m.